entrepreneur. Okay, let's definitely unpack that journey mm -hmm. because Alexander Wang's story, it's uh, its not your standard Silicon Valley playbook, is it? No, not at all. You have to picture this like math prodigy, someone who just saw patterns, possibilities that you know most people would miss. And that analytical mind, it set him on a pretty unique path, mm. one that actually... Uh, took a detour away from the usual academic highway. And that's what's so interesting, right? How that talent led him to, well, an unconventional choice. He gets into MIT. I mean, a yeah. global powerhouse for tech. Right. Then he drops out, which, you know, on the surface sounds like a massive gamble. That classic Silicon Valley trope, maybe. But for someone that academically gifted, it feels like it must have been a really calculated risk. What do you think gave him that confidence, you know, to just leap? And wow, it paid off fast. Almost immediately, he lands this significant seed round, uh, $4.5 million. Yeah, that's huge for seed. For a dropout. It's still really early stage. That's not just like a pat on the back. It's yeah. a thunderclap. It proves the idea had weight. There was a powerful story there. Then here's where it gets like really wild. His own achievement, becoming the youngest self-made billionaire. So fast. Incredibly fast.